Imagine waking up to news that a speeding asteroid is hurtling toward Earth. What would we do? Surprisingly, NASA has already started preparing for that scenario. The Double Asteroid Redirection Test, DART, was humanity's first real attempt to nudge an asteroid off course. In simple terms, it was a test run for planetary defense, proving we can protect our planet if a killer rock ever comes our way. As one NASA official put it, DART's success is a watershed moment for planetary defense. We know asteroids can be dangerous. In 2013, a roughly 20-meter house-sized meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia with about 440,000 tons of TNT energy. The shockwave shattered windows across 200 square miles and injured 1,600 people. Events like that are a cosmic wake-up call, as NASA's asteroid experts say. To prevent surprises like Chelyabinsk, NASA created a Planetary Defense Coordination Office, PDCO, to find and track near-Earth objects. Today, surveys have found thousands of asteroids, and the goal is to discover 90% of all asteroids 140 meters and larger, the size that could destroy a city. In fact, NASA is even building a special space telescope, the NEO Surveyor, to hunt down the dimmest sunward rocks that ground telescopes miss. But finding an asteroid is only half the plan. The other half is figuring out how to move one. That's where the DART mission comes in, a bold experiment in deflection. Instead of waiting for a crisis, NASA launched DART to show we can hit a 160-meter asteroid and change its path. As NASA scientists explain, DART was the first ever mission dedicated to investigating and demonstrating one method of asteroid deflection through kinetic impact. In other words, it was the first time we tried to push an asteroid like a cue ball on a cosmic billiards table. Asteroids zip through our solar system all the time. Most stay harmless in the asteroid belt or fly past Earth at a safe distance. But some pass close enough to worry us. NASA notes that the Didymos Binary Asteroid System, a pair of space rocks that DART targeted, is near Earth, but not a threat to Earth. Scientists chose Didymos precisely because it's a near miss, not an incoming killer, so the test would be safe. Didymos is the larger body, about half a kilometer wide, and Dimorphos its small moon, only 160 meters across. To put that in perspective, 160 meters is like one and a half football fields in length. As NASA's diagrams illustrate, the big rock in front is Didymos, 780 meters across, and the tiny dot in the distance is Dimorphos, at 160 meters. Before DART, Dimorphos orbited Didymos once every 11 hours and 55 minutes. By hitting it, DART aimed to shorten that orbit, a clear measure of success. The goal was modest, even a 73 second change in the orbit would count as success. DART smashed that goal, exceeding it by over 25 times. Why does changing orbit matter? If we ever found an asteroid truly on course to hit Earth, nudging its motion even a little bit could send it safely past. As Lori Glaze of NASA's Planetary Science Division put it, this result is one important step toward understanding the full effect of DART's impact and showing how such a mission could protect Earth. In short, it worked. And Earth knows it now has a plan to use physics as a shield. The mission began on November 24th, 2021. At 1.21 a.m. EST, 10.21 p.m. PST, a Falcon 9 rocket roared off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, carrying the DART spacecraft. NASA notes that this was truly a one-way trip. DART had no brakes or parachute. It was a lean, 575-kilogram, 1,260-pound box spacecraft designed only to smash into its target. For about 10 months, DART coasted through space, roughly 2.5 billion kilometers, toward Didymos. Along the way, it performed small course corrections, studied asteroids, and even tested new technology. Its secret weapon was a camera named DRACO, Didymos Reconnaissance and Asteroid Camera for Optical Navigation, and an onboard computer running SmartNav software. Together, they could recognize the asteroid and make tiny steering adjustments in the final moments. Imagine the tension. Millions of kilometers from home, DART closing in on a 160-meter rock. Its mission was to autonomously guide itself in the last minute or so. NASA explains that during the final 56,000 kilometers, 35,000 miles of travel, DRACO and the guidance system enabled DART to identify and target the smaller object, Dimorphos. The final images from DRACO, taken seconds before impact, show the bouldery surface of Dimorphos in crisp detail a last glimpse of the asteroid right before contact. As DART neared Didymos, Mission Control Worldwide was on high alert. 
Didymos and Dimorphos passed within 11 million kilometers of Earth at impact time, relatively close on an astronomical scale. NASA had positioned telescopes and radar on Earth, plus space telescopes like Hubble, to watch the results. Then came the big moment, September 26, 2022 at 7.14 p.m. EDT. Darts slammed into Dimorphos at 6.6 .6 kilometers per second, about 15,000 miles per hour. The collision was total. The spacecraft was destroyed on impact as planned. All that remained was data and debris. Shortly before the crash, DART had also released a tiny hitchhiker called Lycia Cube, light Italian CubeSat for imaging of asteroids. Fifteen days earlier, Lycia Cube was deployed to keep a safe distance, ready to photograph the aftermath. And indeed, Lycia Cube got the shot. The image above, taken just minutes after impact, shows Dimorphos on the left and a bright cloud of ejecta on the right. NASA explains that this debris cloud, the many tons of asteroidal rock displaced and launched into space, acted like a jet, giving Dimorphos an extra push. In other words, the blasted off rock chipped away gave a recoil effect, like gas from a balloon, that enhanced the deflection beyond the spacecraft's own hit. How do you measure if DART succeeded? By watching Dimorphos' orbit. After the impact, telescopes tracked the Didymos system night after night. The data confirmed, Dimorphos' orbital period around Didymos shortened by 32 minutes. That change is huge compared to the 73-second goal NASA had set. This result shows DART had 25 times more effect than the minimum needed. A smashing success. NASA scientists cheer not just because they hit the target, but because it proves the concept. For the first time in history, humans purposely changed the motion of a celestial object. Bill Nelson, NASA administrator, summed it up. NASA has demonstrated we are serious as a defender of the planet. Even now, researchers are digging into every data point, measuring exactly how much momentum was transferred, analyzing the ejecta, and using radars to refine the orbit change. Lori Glaze from NASA says these analyses will help assess whether and how a mission like DART could be used in the future to help protect Earth. Every piece of data, including the swirls of dust seen by Hubble, is valuable for improving our planet's shield. NASA isn't doing this alone. In fact, DART was part of an international campaign called IDA, Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment. ESA, the European Space Agency, is contributing too. Their HERA mission launched in October 2024, aiming to reach Didymos by late 2026. Once there, HERA will orbit the asteroids and take precise measurements of Dimorphos' mass, internal structure, and the DART crater. By combining DART's data with HERA's close-up survey, scientists will fully validate the first asteroid deflection test, as one update describes. Meanwhile, back on Earth, the Planetary Defense Coordination Office, PDCO, continues to scan the skies. They work with global partners via networks like IAWN, International Asteroid Warning Network, to share observations. New telescopes keep coming online. Besides NEO Surveyor, there are upgrades to existing sky surveys and even citizen science projects. The goal is clear, find threatening asteroids well in advance and have a plan ready if one ever heads toward us. Early Detection NASA's NEO Observations Program and upcoming space telescopes, e.g. NEO Surveyor, aim to find 90% of large near-Earth asteroids, giving us time to act. Test Missions DART was the first full-scale test of kinetic asteroid deflection. It proved that a spacecraft can be guided into an asteroid to change its path. SA's HERA will soon check the results up close. International collaboration. Programs like IDA with NASA and ESA and un backed Network and BAC Networks, IAWN, SMPAG, unify global efforts to track and plan the mitigation of asteroid threats. In the end, DART's story is a hopeful one. It shows that when faced with a cosmic threat, we can take action together. If humanity ever needs to defend itself, we now have a prototype answer smashing a spacecraft into a space rock and watching it veer off course. As NASA's experts remind us, we must keep looking and preparing for what's out there. Thanks to DART and missions like it, the universe has let us take the first step in planetary self-defense.